Hi guys, Christina Stewart here with Christina Stewart Photography. Welcome to another edition of Photo Tips Tuesday. I am here with my friend Nathaniel Cochran, Hi. who is expanding his business into a business consulting firm. What's the name? Quick Start Consulting. Awesome. Nathaniel and I have been friends for the last couple of years. Yeah. 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 And we work together. His family owns the Green Foods Market for the locals. In, it's on the end of Malabar, the east end of Malabar near US-1. So he's got two businesses, which is a lot of fun. So we're gonna to talk today a little bit about the importance of getting professional headshots done. And Nathaniel, tell me a little bit about why is it so important and why do you, that was the first thing you called me today and recommended that people need to, your clients need to get headshots. So what, what is it not being a photographer? Right. What do you see the importance of professional images for your clients? Uh, first of all, it is a huge confidence booster and it also gives you a voice in the marketplace. A lot of times when you're marketing your business, you really need a professional shot to bring out that professionalism and that integrity that everyone's looking for and thriving to become. So I always say, um, if you want to be it, you have to show it. Mm -hmm. So that's Perfect. basically, uh, excellent. Why. And part of the reason too, is having a variety, having professional images. So many people think now that because we have a cell phone and it's so easy to just pull a camera out of our pocket now that they can just use something that they shot on their cell phone. And it, what does that image say to you? When you know it's not a professional image and you're looking to do business, say it's someone you don't know, what does that say to you and how does that share, how does that show to the public about that person? What does it tell? So basically you, you want to invest and show that you're investing in your brand and yourself. So that's one of the first ways that other people can indicate or see the indication that you're investing in yourself, you trust yourself, you have that integrity in yourself that you're worth taking that, you know, amazing shot mm -hmm. uh, that brings out that professionalism that you're looking for. So uh, definitely, I believe in getting professional shots. I agree, but I'm a photographer, so of course <laughs> I do, and I'll be taking them. One of the things though is to be authentic to who you are. And we talked a little bit about mm -hmm. that earlier. Mm -hmm. In if you don't wear a suit, don't wear a suit in your picture. Right. Wear what you're gonna wear, what is professional for you, right. what's gonna share some of your personality, what's gonna show some of who you are. If it's some, you know, you have a fun business, then we wanna show that you're a fun person. So I incorporate that into headshots and I recommend that you incorporate that into your pictures of people, into your portraits of people, whether it's a clown that's a business, right? 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 If it's somebody who has actual businessman who wears a suit and tie, then absolutely that's appropriate. And I think about uh, the professional shots and using some the services that you provide as kind of like a coach. You're using it like a fitness coach. A lot of times you think about, I want to be or have this body or what have you. You kind of need a little bit of the coaching. So a lot of times the photographers, you know, that have your skill, your, your, you, your talent, Right, can bring out something that you didn't see in yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's also something that I always find is needed in, Absolutely. in this business, so yeah. Well, and a lot of people aren't very comfortable in front of the camera. So mm -hmm. when you're doing a portrait session or a headshot session with someone, you want to make sure that you're having a good time, you're having fun, they're having a good time, so they're not. it's not the whole like stiff, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Even if it, that, that is a little bit of their personality, sometimes that is. You still want to just pull out those natural expressions, those natural smiles, asking them questions, ask them what did it, ask them about their business. You know, I have learned so much in sessions like this where I learn about their business that I may not have even known that they did. And if I'm at a conference and I'm shooting a bunch of headshots, people right in a row who I don't know, it really gives me the opportunity to get to know them as an individual, get to know what their business is, and then maybe later on in the weekend, my 17th person of the day, I can say, you know what? I met such and such, have you spoken to them yet? And, and make that introduction that might actually help them build, you know, collaborate businesses, or they have a service that the other person just said that they need or are looking for. So that's a really great way to 
kind of share the wealth and spread the wealth is learning about the people so that you can build that relationship is really what it comes down to. And if you can refer them to somebody else, man, they're gonna keep coming back to you. <laughs> because that shows that I was listening, mm -hmm. that you were paying attention to the conversation and that it isn't just about making that money for the headshot mm -hmm. session, it's really about building that relationship. Yeah. So professional images are really important for your website, having them every year, I would recommend as well. So if you are shooting professional headshots, keep a track of when you're shooting them, who they are, what businesses they're doing, what other types of things they're doing. Keep track of them on Facebook and all the social media right. too. So if you see that they've shifted, like Nathaniel just added, kind of didn't add, but you, are extending your business and, and your consulting business that he used to do in New York, he's bringing it down here to Florida. And so that's a whole different thing that he needs to get back out there and say, hey, I've added this to my repertoire. I'm not just doing real estate, which is what he was doing before. He's a man of many talents, <laughs> do a little bit of everything. So real estate, now he's doing business consulting. And so he really needs to get out there and share that image. So me, keeping track of my friends and clients, which I didn't know because he called me and told me about today that he had just expand, extended this. It's really good to keep track of those clients of yours so that you can go and see if they're doing something new or they've added a new product to their business. You can call them up and say, hey, you know, or comment on their page or comment on their posts and, and so that they see that you're still paying attention or referring them. And it's just continuing to build that relationship. So it's, it's, all, not, it's all about relationship and, uh, and it's also taking those images, you know, what you looked like four years ago, your resolve, you could see it on your face mm -hmm. and what have you. It changes over time. So it's also a way to document the times, the successes, uh, the movement of your business. And, Absolutely. Uh, That's a great you know, point. Yeah. So I, I, I see that. And um, I'm happy for what you're doing. And uh, nice. thanks for having me on this journey. Oh, you're welcome. Love you, Nathan. I appreciate you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys, for checking us out. And look forward to more good things. And uh, thanks for visiting us on Photo Tips Tuesday. Have a great day. And go see the lights. <laughs> Bye.